So thank you very much. So thank you, thank you very much for the introduction. And、uh, so welcome to our summer school. So I'm happy to be here、uh, to give a course in front of you. And I'm sorry for the people who cannot come here, particularly for, for, for Chinese people. So let me start. So I will talk on, my,、uh, on, on the ramification group. So let me fix that fixing notation. So K will be.、Uh, So later it will be just h e n z e l i a n but for, to begin with,、uh, let me assume that if this is complete. Uh, complete the discrete variation field. And、uh, F will be the residue field. So, I, I assume that、uh, the characteristic of F is、uh, positive, but,、uh, <clears throat> uh, but no other assumption. So, this F may, may be perfect. So, this is、uh, my field. So, So I take a Galois extension. So Z will be the Galois group. So we know how to、uh, define a lower number in filtration. So、this, this, So, they are normal, normal subgroup of G. So, this is、uh, the lower number in filtration. So, I, so here I is, so this is in, indexed by、uh, integers. So the, The definition of lower number infiltration is very easy. So, GI is just to define that the kernel on the action of this quotient of <coughs>、uh, the multiplicative group. So, this is very good so, <coughs> to have a good,、uh, simple definition. But the problem is that this is not stable. And a、uh, uh, quotient group. Sorry? Oh, you, you have natural action. So, a、uh, Galois group. So, is that okay? It is all. Ah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, not to step on the question. So, even after, uh, denumbering of indices, unless the classical assumption. <clears throat> so, if you are、uh, interested in Galois representation, so this property is important because so, so we need to have a,、uh, another definition. So, that will be given by upper number in filtration. <clears throat> so, we need the R. So, this will be upper number in filtration. So, this will be, so here the indices are positive rational numbers. So, contrary to the lower numbering one,、uh, this should have the property that this is, is stable under the quotient. <coughs> So, 
Okay. And uh, yeah. Yes. So, so usually we, we consider R to be a rational number. So, but, but we can also consider uh, GR plus. So, so in, I will give some uh, uh, description in terms of digit geometry. So, these uh, correspond to uh, closed disk. And this R plus will correspond to open disks. Okay, so today's, uh, so I have three lectures and so the, the plan is the following. So one first one is, so I, in this first lecture, uh, I explain the definition. And today's second talk, I will study the graded, uh, graded quotient. So gradient quotient means, so I will write it like, like this. And, and this is defined to be uh, like, like this. <clears throat> yeah, so this is, uh, so this one is larger than that one. <clears throat> so this is, yeah, decreasing filtration. Uh, that one is also. And here, uh, the, the interesting case is where R is uh, bigger than one. So, that, the, so I will uh, explain how we, we can show that this is, uh, in fact, a FP vector species. So for, to, to have this property, I, I, uh, we need to this condition. And the last one, uh, I don't know how much time we, we be left, but uh, I, I plan to talk on this the character's form. So this is the characteristic. Hmm. So this is uh, uh, this is the, 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 this uh, graded quotient. Okay, so this roughly the, the plan is uh, like this. I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Yeah, thank you. So to have uh, this description, I will introduce a certain vector space. So this will be a vector, uh, F bar uh, vector space. So F bar, so this is uh, uh, algebra quotient. Uh, of the residue field. And this uh, replaces uh, the, the, the place of, it displays a lot of the cotangent space. Of, at the residue field. At the close point. Of respect of the, the link of each integers. <clears throat> and this L stands for uh, the cotangent complex. But 
Uh, at the moment, I, I, I just uh, write this notation. So I will explain uh, more, this more precisely tomorrow. So this, this vector space uh, will appear in, in the definition of uh, the, in the definition of this uh, character form. So, uh, so, sorry, S, S is a speck of work. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, be, so let me start. Uh, let me start the definition part. So, but uh, before defining uh, this uh, parameter group, I, I will explain some heuristic observation. toward the definition. So only in this part, we are using, we use rigid geometry. But I use rigid geometry only on this heuristic part. And later on, we, we, just, we just forget rigid geometry and we go back, back to the, the world of schemes. So I take generators of the, the ring of integers. Then I can write this as a quotient of polynomial ring divided by uh, some relations. So this is the abbreviation of uh, variables, and this is the abbreviation of uh, uh, relations, and we can take the, the same number of uh, generators and relations. <clears throat> okay, then uh, this if defines a map from uh, disk to disk. So this is the uh, closed uh, unit disk of uh, the same dimension. Uh, of a K in the sense of digital geometry. So uh, X1 over Xn equals to F of X and like this. So we have a so such a kind of presentation defines a map, map, map of uh, disks like, like this. Okay. So we want to study the Galois group. And in this picture, uh, this G is just the inverse of the origin. And you can uh, identify this as a set of uh, morphisms from uh, as morphism of OK algebra from OL to OK uh, <coughs> of a separate group of them. We have a description like this. <coughs> now uh, we fix a uh, national number positive rational number, then uh, we can 
this, look at the smaller disk of radius R. So this is uh, some closed subdisks. So the variation of the coordinate is at most uh, at least R. So we have uh, this uh, closed subdisk. Okay, so let me draw a picture. So we have a upper disk and a lower disk. <clears throat> and we have a map from D, D to D like this. And now we have a smaller disk. <clears throat> ah, sorry. Uh, so we look at the origin. And the inverse image is finitely many points and we have uh, so this is the, the, the this description of the gallery. So we have such a geometric description. And now uh, we take this smaller disk, then uh, uh, inverse image look, look like this. So this is a picture. Now uh, you will see what uh, you, I want to do. To do. <clears throat> So they are in the inverse image. Okay, then, um, so as a, we have a description like, like this, so similar to, to this, uh, we have a natural map from a set of most of OK algebras uh, from OL to OK separate closure. Uh, uh, divided by this idea. This idea is defined similarly like this. So MRJS is <coughs> where the variation is at most at, at, at least. Uh, <coughs> we have a canonical map like this. And the, the, the fiber here. So you can easily see that the fiber is the, uh, uh, this, again, uh, smaller disks. So in this sense, so this is homotopy equivalent. In, in, in the, so this, this doesn't say nothing more than, more than this one. <clears throat> so, but uh, if we, this, this, uh, this should imply that if you, we look at, at the connected component, they should have the same, same connect, set of connected components. So this is in this in, 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 in uh, bijection like this. So this is uh, the, the set we will be interested in. So, so the definition is that so G R is the element of G that is contained in, in the same uh, connected component as the origin. So this is the idea of the definition of upper numbering group. And yeah, once, yes. So uh, ah. in the right hand side, you have homomorphism from OL to OK power model or something. So the question is whether the map is subjective. You said it's almost over. Ah, this is subjective. This is subjective, yes. Ah. Yeah. Thank you. So once, once we, so once we get this, so this, this, Final set should be uh, identified with this quotient set. So this will be uh, the definition of uh, <coughs> upper number infiltration.
So after here, uh, I use the terminology of this geometry. So now I want to tell you how to remove this digit geometry out of this picture. So this digit geometry uh, is roughly speaking, it's a formal geometry. So in, in, instead of digit space, we, we look at the formal schemes. But uh, up to, uh, <coughs> so we have to invert uh, blow-ups. And in, in this dictionary, uh, so, so this is a more or less uh, equivalent. And uh, so here uh, we, we look at the smaller disks. So the point of what in the definition is we look at the smaller disks. So more generally, uh, this means that we have a rational uh, subdomain. And on this side, uh, this corresponds to a uh, partial blow up. Or in other words, we call this dilatation. And, and here, uh, we can even forget the formal, formal schemes. And, and, uh, we, we work with, uh, now we can go back to the language of schemes. So up to, so from now on, uh, we, we forget this part and we will fo focus on, on, on this part. So now, now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, giving you a, uh, the de 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 definition of upper number infiltration using only this language. So are there any questions up here? Yeah. Herself. Oh, herself is uh, another story. So uh, to, to, to prove herself, we have to go back to the, the classical world. Yeah. Are there more questions? Okay. I have one more board. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me continue. <laughs> okay. So now I explain construction. So construction means construction of the upper number in future, but also uh, I mean the construction of this kind of dilatation. Okay, now let me uh, now uh, we, so we now we don't use this uh, geometry, so we can start work with the Hensian discrete variation field. And uh, it will be a uh, uh, finite superbit. Extension. <clears throat> okay. So this may be a stake of OK. And T will be a stake of OL. So, to consider this dilatation, first, uh, first thing we, fix, we have to do is to fix, <coughs> uh, to take, uh, <coughs> we take an uh, immersion, T e to Q uh, over S, and I assume that this Q is smooth, 
o Baez. So let me give you uh, two examples of such uh, immersion. The first one is, is as we have seen before. So we take a presentation. Like this. Then uh, so we have uh, E. And Q will be, in this case, just a fine space. And this image is defined by a third section. A section like this. So this is one example, one, one construction. And the more geometric one is so in, so in, in this second example, I assume that the, 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 the ring of integers is a, a strict handed local ring. Uh, sorry, uh, no, that, it's just, just a Henselian and local ring where uh, X is some smooth variety of uh, K. Uh, this is a field, a uh, perfect field. Of character P, and uh, X is a uh, generic point of a uh, smooth divisor. So in this uh, second case, case, we are in this geometric and suppose uh, we have a uh, finite motion of <coughs> uh, some skills. over k, <coughs> x, and y. And uh, L is the local ring, the <laughs> local ring. And uh, yeah, now uh, he goes to, so this case, q, q is just, uh, uh, Y, the best change of Y. So in this way, uh, uh, we have uh, immersion to, to, to some schemes. Okay. Okay, now, <coughs> now we fix a uh, rational number. <coughs> and we need to take uh, extra uh, extension. <coughs> So this is necessary to, to mm. well, first of all, to, to kill uh, the 
the denominator of this rational number. And we also need to use such extension uh, to, to see uh, the geometry behind this construction. Okay. Uh, so under the, so we, we also have fixed this uh, imagine to close uh, smooth, smooth schemes. And for simplicity, let me assume that this is uh, uh, fine and the spec of A. <clears throat> so then, uh, uh, so this is immersion. So we, we can define, uh, we can describe the, the ring of integers as a quotient by some uh, ideal. Then using uh, this data, uh, I, I explain uh, the dilatation. So the, the first, so this is the notation for the dilatation. So in this affine case, this is also a speck of something. So first, uh, I need to take a base change. A tensor. <clears throat> yeah. And then uh, uh, I also need to fix, uh, take, take the uniformizer. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot to say the, how, how to get the, the denominator. I assume that the, uh, if we multiply the ramification index to this R, then this is this. I assume that this is an integer. <clears throat> so let me write this R prime. So this R, this is to be. So if we so we fix the national number, and we, if we multiply the ramification index, we get the uh, integer, and this integer will be denoted by R prime. So I put the denominator pi prime to R prime in the denominator. So this is an uh, integer, so we can take this power. And uh, so this is a partial blow up. So partial blow up means you, you, are, uh, you, add some, uh, you join some fractions, and the fraction uh, we allow it this, this form. So this is a partial blow up, and we call this. Uh, so this, and we regard this as a subring of a tensor. Paper. Yeah, so in this way, we, we get to this picture. But to, to complete this, this picture, we need to take a, a normalization. US prime. So here uh, we, we put the square bracket and we put the round bracket here. Uh, this is just a normalization. Now uh, we need to apply uh, classical theorem, so reduce pi by theorem. Or in the context of uh, this geometry, so this is uh, called uh, ground weight. Then what? Uh, finite mystery. So we apply this. Then uh, this is that for sufficiently large tape line. A prime sufficient to us. Uh, the reduced, the close fiber is geometrically reduced. <coughs> the, sorry. Uh, 
じゃあ、じゃあクローズ、ジョムテイク、クローズファイブ。uf bar, ah, so this is just, uh, the, the close fiber of this normalization. <coughs> ah, sorry, so s prime is spec of ok prime. Ah, f, f, f bar. So f bar is algebra closure. So if we, so we have this normalization over the extension, the, the ring of integers of, of this extension, and you take further uh, to the base chain to, to algebra closure, then uh, if your, your k prime is sufficiently large, then the geometric closure fiber defined like this is, is reduced. So this is uh, what, what the reduced fiber segment tells us. Okay. Yes. Ah, K prime is. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. See, thank you. Huh? What does it mean? It is the degree. No, no, you you cannot control by degree. So you you there is such one. One, one K prime, and if your yeah, yeah, K prime is, is further, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, and um, more questions? Yeah, it's a community with the base engine. Yeah, so this geometric closed fiber that is independent of the choice. Yeah, yeah. So this construction community with base chain. So uh, the, 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 the this fiber is, this is geometric fiber doesn't change. No, no, I need to take normalization. So, so, if, yeah. So, hmm. Hmm? Okay. Okay, now, uh, so we have completed the geometric picture. So now, uh, let's see what we, we have get. So, I define that, uh, this functor, uh, like taking the set of connected component. So this is a set of connected component. So I said that the, so this construction is independent of the, the K prime, but in fact, this is also independent of Q. So I don't give a proof of this fact, but this is also some homotopy property. So this is independent of this choice here and also K prime there. So we have 
Uh, this, 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 this is independent, depends only on L. And this is in fact, this construction is functorial in L. So we, we get some uh, functor. And this is in fact a quotient functor. Of, so this, this is in fact a quotient functor of the, the fiber functor. If we L, so this is defined as a, <clears throat> set of most of the of the most 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 of the some of the most of the most of the So using this, uh, we can define the independent of Q, yeah. It's not obvious, so I, but I, I need to, I need to show, show some certain homotopy property. And uh, this is a consequence of this homotopy property. So we, if you have two immersion, you have, you want to compare by, by the thing. In taking product, and then uh, we, we get the smooth motion, and this smooth motion induces this home to people property. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, so this may be enough to, to define a uh, uh, filtration, but uh, let me say, uh, let me tell you, there is another uh, variant of this construction. So, so this will give GR, <coughs> but uh, we, we also want, want to have a construction of, of, for this GR plus, and uh, this, vari this variant is for, for this GR plus. So variant is gives come from this structure. So this is the, the, the normalization. Of, so this is just a spec of This, <coughs> to this normalization. So this is just the, by, by the functoriality. Then, uh, similarly to this, we define this functor to be the image of the, the closed fiber. So this is the close fiber of this geometric close fiber. So again, uh, uh, if for, for K, K prime substantially large, uh, we can identify this with uh, that fiber functor. So for, for, for K prime substantially large. So we have a natural identity. So, so if K prime is substantially large, so we, uh, this, this is just a uh, product of copies of all K prime. So <coughs> uh, normalization is a product of copies of all K prime. So we have this identification uh, to the, the closed fiber of UF bar, geometric closed fiber, just here. <clears throat> okay. So in this way, uh, yeah.
So in this way, we obtain a series sequence of functors so from, from fiber functor to this second one and to the, the first one. So the, and both are uh, subjection. So this subjectivity is non trivial, but this is a constant case of uh, going down theorem. In commutative algebra. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so the, the, the second map here is that just you, so you have, you have points in, in this closed fiber, and you you, you send it to the, the connected component containing that point. So this is the point point to to connected to component. Now uh, I introduce uh, set. index. So this will be the index set for for us. So this is just a notation. Mm. So posit positive rational numbers and uh, positive rational numbers with uh, this plus, and we regard this, uh, this, this isn't union as uh, uh, ordered set in a natural order. Now, I can state the first main theorem. So, I assume that L is a finite Galois extension. And G is a Galois group. Okay. Then the, the first part is that they exist. Uh, the unique decreasing filtration. Indexed by this set, index set. Uh, that is that. For every uh, for every public extension, <clears throat> so we have this fiber factor for this n, and we so this this carries natural action with this Galois group, so we can take the quotient. Then this in this is uh, <clears throat> uh, we have natural bijection. <clears throat> so this so in this uh, case without plus, uh, this set is defined as a, as a set of connected component. And uh, our uh, filtration describes this, this uh, set of connected component as a quotient of, of this fiber factor by, by the group, group. So this is a, this uh, first point realizes <clears throat> our geometric picture in, in the beginning. But this is a, 
first point, which says that we have a good definition of a parameterization group. The second point, well, the second point was is obvious for uh, lower ramification group, but this is uh, highly non trivial for uh, upper ramification groups. So there exist exist uh, rational numbers. Uh, the first is zero. So finite uh, finite in rational numbers. Uh, such that <coughs> uh, so G R are constant constant on this interval uh, R I plus up to R I plus one or I up to N minus one. And GR is trivial uh, for R uh, bigger than Rn uh, plus. So we have uh, such property. Yeah, they are rational numbers. Mm. Mm. Mm? Q also has Q. Yeah, Q plus, but uh, plus appears like this. So, so they are just usual rational numbers. Yeah. Um, so it, it's the. Like, so, so on this line, everything is rational numbers. But from here on, R is in, in, in Q, Q plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, in the first one. Yeah. Mm. So I don't, I don't have time to explain uh, proof. Uh, so let me <clears throat> let me simply uh, so as a corollary. Uh, <clears throat> GR is uh, compatible with caution. So this is just from the property of the first one. Oh, I, I don't have much time left, so, well, yeah. Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah, let me say a few words on, on, on the idea of proof. So, so I, I omit, omit this part and say, say something on, on this part. So, for, for the part, part point. So, put, to prove this, we look at the uh, quantitative diagram. So we have a surjection like this. And we identify this with G. <clears throat> and by looking at the factoriality, we, we can show that uh, there is uh, <clears throat> a 
normal sub, sub, subgroup such that we, we can identify this quotient as, uh, like this. The, the, the first claim that is that, so the, the first, first means that this diagram is co Cartesian. So co Cartesian means that this, this is the fiber sum of this, this, this mappings. And we deduce this property uh, from uh, so that the same diagram defines a map from this to the, the fiber product. And we, we show that this is a surjection. And this uh, subjectivity implies the co-cartesian. Co 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 and hence, one. And this subjectivity, so this is the consequence of going down theorem. In co co commutative algebra. So I, I'm sorry that I can't give uh, any more detail, but uh, let me stop here for the first lecture. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we, we can take a few questions maybe from the room and then from Zoom. So is there any question in the room? Yes. Ah, sorry. So I guess, I should not So for the ramification groups, I mean, presumably the, the definition of these GRs is as the kernel, right? Um, of the, that top map. Um, is, it, yeah. is, it, is it obvious? So presumably we're supposed to deduce from the kind of first section that, the, that, the G, that in, in the perfect residue field case, these GRs coincide with the upper ramification filtration. Um, I mean, is that true, first of all? In, in the perfect residue field case, is it true that these big GRs coincide with the usual upper yeah, ramification yeah, 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 What If you try to prove that, what goes wrong in the, what goes wrong in the imperfect residue field case? What is the long with? What goes wrong in the imperfect residue field case if you try to, if you try to like write down the proof of this fact? There is no, this is the definition of the imperfect residue field case. There is no other definition. Why is why is it so problematic? I don't know. Like, you, you can compare this with usual upper Yeah, so in, in the classical case we recover the same definition, but in, in the in the in the, in the general case, there is no classical definition. So this is the, 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 the definition. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, we, we, in the classical case, uh, so, so we take, <coughs> we take a presentation. But so this is one variable, so we can compute everything explicitly. Hmm. So maybe if there are some questions in Zoom, you please raise your, ha your hand. Otherwise, we will take just uh, three minutes break and we start again, okay? Uh, so just a small ah. question. Yes. Uh, so for the loyal numbering, uh, I think uh, you can have a variant, you, you, you use the multiplicative definition for the loyal numbering. Uh, that is uh, with sigma x over x congruent to one modulus some uh, power of the maximal ideal, but you can also have an additive version with sigma x minus x uh, in the definition of the loyal numbering. 
So of oh. course, in the perfect present, you feel case they, they are closely related because they. But in the imperfect case, you get different two different low number infiltrations. Uh, so uh, is there also some way to get different upper numbering? Or, yeah. Or Yes, yes, yeah. Then, so, so this is the so-called non-logarithmic one, and we, we, we have also logarithmic one. And, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a quite similar.